What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing, and you're probably wondering why does Joe have a nice rod with a moving creek behind him? Well today we're gonna have some fun. We're out here for a little bit, and we decided why fish for smallmouth bass using the conventional method of a normal size spinning rod and reel, when you can use a nice rod. So it doesn't matter how many fish today we get, um, what matters is that we catch a fish on a nice rod. That's our main goal, just one fish, one smallmouth. That's all I want, so stay tuned guys. All right guys, step one in, our, in today's video in our fishing expedition, we need to catch the bait. And all we need is a little net like this with uh, very small holes, a little jar with a lid, and some fishing expertise. And what we're gonna do is we come to this part of the creek where the water is about half a foot deep, not even, and there are some fast moving, slow moving parts to it but we also need to make sure that there's a lot of rocks, a lot of small, tiny fish, and a lot of moss on these rocks. So there's a lot of, you know, plant life. So these crayfish have stuff to feed on. One tip too, you don't want the sediment to be mud. You want it to be like this loose gravel. Otherwise you go to lift up a rock to catch a crayfish and all the sediment kicks up and you can't find it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna get some crayfish and then what you've been waiting for, we're gonna get on some smallmouth on some ice rods and some fly fishing rods. Oh, this is perfect. So they swim backwards. So what I'm gonna do is those claws, push them and go right in the net like that. And there you have it. That's, that is, not, that's not a bad size one. These are what you want. The small ones are great for smaller fish and bass, but the creek chubs start to get to them. So that's why you wanna get bigger yeah. size crayfish or bigger size fish. Yeah, we're gonna catch some more. And we're gonna get on some small milk. So we're here at the spot. <clears throat> Joe pinched off the craw, the claw of the crayfish. Otherwise they'll fight back against the bass and the bass don't want to eat them as much if they're gonna pinch. Exactly, I don't want to eat nothing with the claw. I mean, anything. unless it's a lobster and it's already dead, but. Well, I take the claws off. I'm gonna tie them on, or no. not tie them on. Hook them on. Through the size. shell. What size of the hook is that? What size one? No clue. Two. Drop shot hook. Drop shot hook. Little bit of lead and in front of it. And pull out the old trusty. This bobber's been through more than you can imagine. I'm actually insane at casting with this thing. Practice makes perfect. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, he chased it. That was oh, cool. that was on camera. That was on camera. Yeah. They're in there. You see that he hit it. So what small ones will do. And I guess I didn't really think about it there. They'll knock it with their head first, especially with a bait like this. Kind of stun it. Stun it, and then they'll go after it again. It knocked it, and I I guess I thought that was a hit, and then it came after it again. So they're uh, then, out there and they're aggressive. Does one have it maybe? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, one does. He's hooked up. He's hooked up, guys. On the little guy, little guy, little guy. Wow, happy bass opener. This guy's tough. Oh! <laughs> He's tiny, look at this man. On the ice rod. I'm gonna have to give the fly rod a try after you bring this one in. And I still got the bait, look at that. Yeah, still got the Beautiful, crack. smally. These, these smallmouth are so much fun to catch. They fight so hard, they jump. They're everything a fisherman dreams of, especially on an ice fishing rod too. Who needs Lake Erie for bass opening? Bass opening. Just find yourself a little creek and get yourself a fun trip. Look, the crayfish is still moving. Well, this crayfish is going right back out there. Yeah. Did he swallow her or what? The crayfish just grabbed onto me. A little deep in there. You might need pliers for this one. You bring him? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, look at that. Because they didn't really set the hook very hard. Beautiful cause... little creek swallow. We're going to snap a pick and then let her go. Not even. Just throw him Not back even. in. Look at him. Where is he going to go? Off in the distance. Right back out there. So man. much fun, guys. Definitely recommend giving this a try. Yeah. But we'll see if we can get some more. Round two. Duh. Dose. Okay, I need to tighten the drag, you know. Better hook sets. Stefan Comendi's school of hook sets, you know, taught me well. When you start skipping baits with an ice rod, pro angling. I see your craw underneath the water there. You see him? I can barely make him out. There's like a little white dot floating. 
Shows what camouflage these damn bass are. You'll see the bass sometimes too hitting your craw. We saw the one chasing, but that was about it. But no, like, I do see the craw. Damn. Uh, it only says six to ten. Oh, oh it just popped under. One's got it, I think. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't he dropped. He, I saw it come back up. My gosh, shit. Oh, oh. Got there him. There we go. Got there him. we go. He's good, too. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's pulling. Finally. It's recording, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. He's better. This is Look at this rod bent. Look at this rod bent. Yeah, this is not a bad one. He's pretty long. He's going to go. Flexing the ice rod. Oh, is he hooking the top of the snout? Always, always hooked on the lip. Might lose him, but... We had to grab him with that hold. It, it works so well. I like to lip him, but you know. These fish are done their spawn in here. Well, look at the belly. He's got a little chunky belly on him. That's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. The outline of the tail, like the bluish. That's cool. I don't know if they get that from eating crayfish or what, but nice smallmouth. Let's get a picture and we'll uh, let her go. Back into the drink she goes. Thank you for the fight. Thank you for the bite, and uh, have a good rest of your day. <laughs> She's got to revive herself a little, you know. That was fast. It's been a grind with the ice rod today. Could have had a lot more fish if I actually used the proper gear, but it's just how it goes. Look, look at the bobber. Yeah, like them. It's definitely like a creep shop or a baby bass or something. Got him. Oh, there he is. Oh Yay! my gosh. No way it's a chub. Chub on a bass. We did it. We did oh, it. We did it. We did it. Chub on a creep. No, it's not a chub. Chub that on a like... bass. My bad. Is that? Black mullet? Sucker? Yeah, it's a chub. Chub. So, guys, I think we did the impossible on a. Look at the hook. Oh my gosh. What How we... did that eat it? How so, did that happen? Anything. This fish see how the bumps are going away yep the spawn is over so this bad boy he's actually good size yep. okay we got him fish. on a good size crayfish on an ice rod well guys it's been a uh, semi-successful day we did something new that we've never done before catch a large fish on an ice rod in open water all that matters is we had a good time in the beautiful great outdoors got to uh, witness mother nature during the summer in Ontario and it's it's pretty incredible that we have this right by our house so yeah anyways guys that's all for the video and we'll see you next time on JK Fishing